Hey guys, it's time to test out the gaming performance of Huawei Mate S smartphone, the latest flagship phone from Huawei. Um, that cost me a lot of money, by the way. So I'm just gonna quickly hit start game. I'm um, just gonna tell you a little bit about the specification. It has the Kirin 935 octa-core chipset. Um, this, I think this is like an upgrade to what we had on uh, the P8. So also it also comes uh, with uh, three gigs of RAM. It's a pretty nice phone. This is a 1080p HD screen. Um, let's just quickly get going. Wow. Seems to be very promising. Okay, I'm just gonna clear the focus and wow. Let's grab a car. Okay, pretty nice car. Don't call her bitch. Okay, um, buttons are good. Uh, radio sucks, so I just have to turn it off so that you can hear what I'm talking. So, um, performance is looking very good actually. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Whoa. Oh shit. Oh, run, run, run. Okay, come out, you pretty girl. Okay, now I have to shut the radio off again. Okay, so, um, seems like, uh, like I said, it is looking very, very smooth, very, very good. Okay. This Kirin 935 is absolutely a beast. It is very much optimized to run this game. I mean, we are probably getting around, uh, maybe around like 45 plus FPS. And the best about, uh, best thing about this phone is that it has really big display. So definitely it is looking very very cool and very convenient actually to play this you know with these small buttons oops what the hell no trespassing so quality through camera is actually not that much same as when you are playing it actually you know in if, if, when the phone is in your hand so yeah it's looking very stunning to be honest not a single lag or any hiccups or anything like that or any unusual frame drop you can see I'm driving at a fairly high speed top speed of this car so wow I'm really at, at a cool place okay I just hit a cop So next off is the Asshole A game, uh, one of my favorite games on mobile platform. Let's just quickly get into this baby. Okay, let's see how it will perform. Put it down. Okay.
It's running super, super duper smooth. Okay, no lag whatsoever. And I mean, this phone is taking full advantage of this game, and this game is taking full advantage of this big 1080p HD screen. Outside of the track. So next off is the Dead Trigger 2 game. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys its performance on this game. So as you can see, looking very, very smooth. Okay, okay, I got you your water. Here we have water. Look at that water. Come on. So far, absolutely amazing gaming performance. Okay, let's have some fun with the gun. I hope we should get a gun about somewhere. I'm here to save you. Glad to see you here. Me too. Great. Great. I've been stuck here for ages. Follow me. I know a shortcut. Follow me, follow me, follow, follow, follow me. More zombies. Watch out. Whoa. More zombies. Pumpkin head zombie. Halloween edition. Damn. Damn. Okay, so, so far it's really awesome uh, to just wind it all up. It has a really awesome gaming performance. You will not see any lag or anything like that. And, um, and also, the screen is very, very nice. I will definitely going to recommend you to try out these games on this phone. And, um, and also, one more thing is that uh, it has this 64 uh, gigabyte of internal memory, out of which almost... 54 something is available so yeah it will be fun to install a lot of a lot of a lot of applications on it and uh, you know no need to install any SD card 
Now it's time for the benchmark. I'm just going to test out Geekbench 3. Accept. So uh, let's just take a look here at the um, the specs. So um, 1.52 gigahertz chipset. Uh, this is the 935 Kirin C CPU. Um, also Mali T624 GPU and also 3 gigs of RAM there. So I'm just going to quickly start the benchmark and we will wait. Okay. So I will also going to do a full review so make sure you stay tuned for that. And also lots of comparison with other top phones or any specific videos that you guys want to see do let me know in the comment section down below Sixty-five, sixty-seven, sixty-nine. Okay, just a few seconds more. Ninety-five, almost done. Okay, so we got a score of uh, three thousand two hundred four multi-core and seven hundred sixty. Of single core so uh, I'm not that much impressed by the way uh, with these scores and I don't really care about benchmark scores to be honest I just prefer the real-life performance which is pretty awesome um, and I hope it will be awesome as compared to other devices when we'll do that video so yeah these scores are actually um, kind of close to the scores of um, kind of actually better than the scores that we got with the Xperia Z5 Compact with Snapdragon 810 chipset. So yeah, that's um, some a little bit more improvement here with the Kirin 935. But yeah, gaming performance is absolutely amazing. So yeah, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.